Hey, Ram, welcome back to another video. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to show and hide the password in the Xbox. So first, first, let's get in a project. Select the Windows Home app. Make sure it's C sharp, and then rename it. So first, I'm going to need the text box and enable. So go to your toolbox and search text box. And then for a label. And then drag a checkbox. And align them. Now we're going to put text in it. So pick your label. And type in password. And then click our checkbox and type in hide. Next, we're going to change the name. So click the label and type in LBA password. And then your text box as txt password and then the checkbox as checkbox 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 side next click your checkbox twice and it will and it will activate the click event and open up your code so all we need to do is when the checkbox is clicked we need to hide the password and when it's not clicked we need to show the password so we are going to do that by using a if statement so if checkbox hide is checked then text password dot use system password char and we are going to equal it to true so what this use system password char is the normal uh, format when you type in the password so it means this format so what this basically means is when the checks checkbox is checked that means when it's hidden uh, that formal uh, you will see the uh, uh, password in that format so when the checkbox is not checked uh, this is going to be equal to false that means it will just display the words so else txt password your system password char is going to be false so as you know, when we type in a normal password, it uses this use system password char. So we need to make sure that the computer recognizes that. So we need to type in a function to do that. So copy this. And paste it in here. So when we start the application, when we type in the password, the password will use this use system password char. And then go to your form, select your uh, checkbox, and then make sure this checked is equal to true. So let's run our application now. So I'm just going to type in a random number of words. And now I'm going to unclick this hide button. And as you can see, it just displays the words. And you click it again, it will just use this, use this and password chart. So this is it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.